The Causes of Whooping Cough by Chris Levesque Whooping cough is caused by a bacteria called Bordetella pertussis. It is a very small gram-negative aerobic cocobacillus that appears by itself or in pairs. This bacteria is picky and is usually cultivated on rich media supplemented with blood. Humans are the only known carriers of Bordetella pertussis. At least so far, Bordetella pertussis has not been found in any animals or any living organisms besides humans. However, if an animal caught the bacteria while it was carrying a dangerous disease or bacteria, would it create something even more dangerous? Would they swap genes and create a new infectious disease? We have yet to find out. Bordetella pertussis thrives in our respiratory passages. Here they produce toxins such as pertussis toxin and adenylate cyclase toxin, which damage the cilia and our respiratory epithelium, which I will be talking about next. These toxins help the bacteria colonize and become stronger. Bordetella pertussis damages the cilia of the mammalian respiratory epithelium, which are needed to remove particulate matter and cellular debris that we breathe in. If the cilia can't do its job, inflammation occurs. This inflammation is what causes the cough to occur. The whoop sound comes in later stages of the disease when the infected individual is forced to gasp for air after coughing fits. Whooping cough is spread by contact with droplets coughed out by someone with the disease or by contact with recently contaminated hard surfaces upon which the droplets landed. The bacteria in the droplets will then cause the disease to start its process of infection. Take a look at these pictures and realize how awful whooping cough really is. And just think about it for a second. Are you next? Oh, no, no, no.